Thank you for watching this free video tutorial from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Arnold for 3ds Max. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out. In this lesson, we take a look at interior lighting in Arnold for 3ds Max, and I'm going to show you how to do it with sky dome light and with uh, simple quad lights. Uh, the scene we have is from the Arnold uh, support page. You can go there and in the learning scenes section, download the scene. Right now, we don't have any light in the scene and the physical camera. If I go to its uh, attributes, you can see the exposure value is set to six, which is the default value here. Now, so let's start with the first approach and use a sky dome light to light our interior scene. From the lights, Arnold lights, change the type to sky dome. I'm just gonna make sure every setting is at its default. And I'll click once in the viewport and now you have created a sky dome light. Let's run the uh, active shade here. And the first, if I go to the modify panel, the first option I want to adjust is the light shape visible because I want to actually see the sky dome in the scene. So let's enable light shape visible. And if I come down here, you can see the intensity and exposure value is a bit too much for the scene. So let's set the exposure maybe to something like two or even one and intensity can be something like 1.5 and also uh, so we don't get any uh, direct noise from our sky dome light I'm going to increase the samples for the light to something like 4 and let's see what we are gonna get with only the sky dome light let me just rename the light also to sky dome here so here is the render that we are getting with only the sky dome light. And as you can see, it's extremely noisy. Now we can go ahead and in our render setting, uh, increase our uh, diffuse samples to clear out some of this noise. Because if I go to my AOVs and go to my diffuse indirect, you can see the noise is coming from the uh, uh, basically the indirect illumination that we have in the scene or global illumination or diffuse samples here. So we need to increase the few samples. Now, before actually increasing the diffuse samples, what we can do is to put three portal lights behind these windows that we have in the scene. And this way guide the sky dome samples into our interior scene, therefore having cleaner scene and less render time. So let me just create a copy from the current scene that we have. And now let's add our portal light. I'm going to close the active shade for now. And in the create panel, Arnold light, we need to make sure uh, to set the type to quad light. And in the top view here, let's go behind the window and add the light. Okay. Now let's go to the modify panel, select the light and its target. And I'm just going to the perspective view here and put the light right behind the window here with a small distance. So something like this would probably be enough. Let me just go to this front view. Perfect. Now we have our first light. Let's create a few copies and put them behind these other two windows. So let me shift and drag the light and its target and set it to instance. And we need two instance in this case. There you go. And if I get back to the camera, now what we need to do is to make sure the portal option is enabled for this light. So basically when enabled, this disables anything related to the illumination produced by the light object. Uh, basically a portal doesn't generate any light and the object now becomes a light portal. Uh, sky dome lights can use light portals to reduce noise for interior scenes where light comes in through relatively small openings. 
instead of emitting light, they can be used to guide sky dome light sampling. Light portals must be placed to cover all windows, doors, and other openings through which sky dome light comes into the scene. So now that we have the portal light enabled, let me actually rename this light to portal 01, portal 02, and portal 03. Now to make sure that the portal lights are working, we need to go to our sky dome light and actually change the portal mode from off to interior only in this case. Portal mode basically defines how the sky dome light interacts with the light portals. When set to off, it turns off the uh, portals. Uh, if set to interior only, blocks any light outside portals for interior only scenes. And we have interior exterior and this mode lets light outside portals through for mixed interior and exterior scene. So in this case, because we are only having this interior shot, we can change the portal mode to interior only. And right now, if I run the active shade, we should be able to get a cleaner render without having to adjust our diffuse sample. And also it's going to be a bit faster compared to our previous render without the portal light. So let's run the active shade and see what we're going to get. Okay, so this is the render, and if I compare it to our previous render, even though it was a bit faster, but because we have the portal light, as you can see, we get a cleaner render compared to our previous result. Now, the other thing that obviously I wanna do right now to completely have a noise-free render or a lot cleaner render compared to what we have right now is to increase our diffuse samples. But before that, let me add a sunlight or a distant light, so from the top view here let's go to our lights Arnold light change the type to distant and let's click and drag in the top view let me select the target and move it and select the Sun and increase its height now before running the active shade let's go to our quad view and maybe adjust the position of the lights a bit. Okay, so this is good enough. I'm just going to select the light and rename it to sun and its exposure probably 1.5 and 1 is good enough here. Now we have our sun, we can go ahead and use a Kelvin value of something like 5500 to get a warmer sunlight if you wanted to. And right now the only thing that remains for this approach to interior lighting is to increase the diffuse samples. So I'm going to increase my diffuse samples to something like 5 and also my camera samples to something like 5 and render the scene and see what we are going to get. Now before actually starting the render here, I'm going to increase my ray depth value to something like 2 as we discussed in our diffuse ray depth lesson so we have more bounce light. And um, the diffuse samples, I'm thinking maybe something like even 6 would be necessary for this scene. So also finally I'm just going to disable this preview because I don't want to see any preview before the final render so I can disable it and this way when I hit render the final render will begin immediately. The render is finished and it took almost 7 minutes on this low end machine. But, as you can see, we have a clean and fairly noise-free render. Let me create a copy of this window and show you another approach with quad lights. So what we are going to be doing, let me just put this on this other monitor here. Now let's take a look at interior lighting with just quad lights. And for doing that, I'm just going to my sky dome light. And if I come down to the contribution section, what I'm going to do is to zero out all of its secondary ray types 
Okay. Let me just for now set the camera ray depth to three and the diffuser ray depth to two so we get a bit faster renders. And let's set the diffuser ray depth to one for now and run the active shade. And also let me enable the preview so we have a faster feedback. So as you can see, when all the secondary ray types are set to zero, and if I set the camera contribution to one, we see the sky dome light, but it doesn't affect the lighting. And the light that is happening right now in the scene is coming from the sunlight. And if I turn it off, you can see we have only the sky dome uh, in the scene, only its appearance without having any effect on the overall illumination of the scene. So let me turn on the uh, sky, uh, turn on the sun, sorry. We have our sky dome and all of its contribution except for the camera are set to zero. Now, what I'm going to do is go to my portal lights and simply disable the portal option. Now they are uh, normal quad lights. Let's make sure. Okay, now the portal light uh, option is turned off for the uh, quad lights that are behind our windows. Let me go to my exposure and intensity and if I start increasing the... Let me turn off the sun so we can actually see how these lights affect the overall illumination for now. So here is our first quad light and let's increase the exposure to something like 8. Now as you can see we start to see their effect. 12, 14, maybe 16 is good enough, or even 15, but in this case 16 would be better. And the samples are set to 4. Let's turn on the sun again. And let's see what we are going to get here. So here is our render with the portal option of the quad lights turned off and the quad lights actually acting as area lights and our sky dome only having an appearance without affecting the overall illumination by setting the camera contribution to one and other secondary ray type cont contributions to zero. Now the last thing that we need to do is to increase our samples a bit. So I'm going to be using the same amount of samples that I used for our previous approach with the sky dome so camera samples was five diffuse samples was six and let's set the diffuse ray depths to something like two and if i run the active shade now in this case i think the area lights are a bit too bright so i'm going to their settings and probably setting their exposure to something like 15 or 15.5 would be a better choice now let me actually stop the render and turn off the preview so we can compare the time a bit more precisely with our previous render with the sky dome approach now the render is finished and i think it took almost uh, 10 11 minutes on this machine and if i compare it to our previous render with the sky dome light approach let's see if i zoom in here you can clearly see that this render is quite cleaner compared to the sky dome light approach. Now the sky dome light approach is a bit more uh, easier to understand for the guys who are coming from other render engines like V-Ray. Uh, but in this case, I think the uh, area light approach might yield uh, the better result. So in this lesson, we learned how to do interior lighting in Arnold for 3ds Max using sky dome light approach and using the area light or quad light approach and i will see you in the next lesson to talk about physical sky thank you for watching this free video tutorial from our course comprehensive introduction to arnold for 3ds max make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out